Alright everybody, welcome to Big Boss Gaming. Today I'm going to give you my top loadouts for uh, Modern Warfare 3. Um, I specifically love these loadouts. Uh, just for just any game mode, hardpoint domination, team deathmatch, search and destroy, whatever you want to run. Um, but uh, the first loadout I want to talk about, everybody's kind of quick scoping here lately. And this is uh, the loadout that um, you saw me run a while back. Uh, if you watched the video uh, when I was quick scoping on the mosh pit. Uh, I think it was Modern Warfare 2 Mosh Pit, uh, but either way, um, this build is specific for ADS. I mean, you're going to get quick ADS, you're, you're going to have the uh, long barrel and the high grain round, so you're going to have good bullet velocity, and then you're also going to have that one shot that you really want, whether it's, uh, which I will say, um, it has to be chest or higher. Uh, when I say chest, I mean upper chest, so right above the tatas, but um Anyways, uh, if you look right here, the ADS is super quick. It's it's a very accurate gun. I mean, look, it's, it's, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's tons of fun. I absolutely love running this loadout. But uh, I run the Chrome bit with it um, just so I get a lot more movement speed. You know, I just swap the Chrome and give wherever I want to get. If I get in that close range, then, you know, right there. Uh, the next one's SVA 545. Um SVA 545, tons of fun. Uh, it's, it's a good, it's, it's just a good gun all around. It's very reliable. It reminds me a lot of the cast off 545. Uh, run whatever optic you're comfortable with. Uh, I typically run that, um, I forgot what it's called, the weird looking one. Uh, the, uh, yeah, that one. But either way, uh, that or the MK3 reflector. But we're going to drop the precision barrel, obviously, bullet velocity. Um, and then, um, the uh, Komodo Heavy there is going to give you a, a lot of recoil control. The Bruin Heavy Support Grip, you're going to have a lot of control over this gun. Uh, super accurate because you can't miss your shots, especially with the skill-based matchmaking. You're dropping in these sweaty lobbies. It's ridiculous. So you, you've every match is going to be like a ranked match. So, you know, obviously you don't want to be missing shots. Um, but now if you want a quicker ADS, you can obviously just swap the grips out right here. Um, <clears throat> so... But, uh, it's, it's just, the recoil is going to go up, uh, so slightly pull down on your stick. I'm, I'm using, or I play on PS5, so um, uh, any of the weapons you see me use and stuff, uh, you know, on PS5, uh, but, um, let's see here. All right, so uh, the next one's a striker. This is a, this is a really fun one to use. Um we're going to drop the stock on it, get a little bit of recoil control, uh, run whatever optic you want, obviously. If you want an optic, you can always opt out of the optic and put a rear grip or whatever you want. Um, the um, hand stop right there, um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but for some reason on this weapon right here in particular, it's it just is comfortable. And, uh, the ADS is super snappy, movement speed is great on it, um, and the high grain rounds is really going to make it feel a lot more uh, consistent, I guess you could say. Um, now, uh, this next one right here, uh, MTZ556, this one right here, a lot of people are using it. Uh, I was using it until I sw or I started running the MCW like crazy. I just absolutely love the MCW. But uh, the MTZ here uh, is a very, very reliable, easy-to-control weapon. Uh, it's not going to bounce all over the place and stuff like that. So... Uh, the F-TAC SP-10 angle grip, that's going to give you a little bit more control while you're not really going to be sacrificing anything, if that makes sense. So uh, check it out right here. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. ADS is snappy. Bam, bam, bam. Um, either way, you, you get this build right here, you'll absolutely love it. Um, it is basically tuned to the basically built for ADS because you want that snappy ADS because everybody's running around like chicken with their heads cut off. Uh, and you can see that's me controlling the recoil pattern. And then here's the recoil pattern. Just on the stick. Straight up to the right slightly and then back up again. Uh, WSP Swarm. Um, a lot of people are running this. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but this is my build that I run when I do run this weapon. Um, is basically built, um, I guess you could say it's built around more bullet velocity than anything. I just don't like the fire rate on the gun. Just uh, something about it, it just doesn't feel very comfortable to me. Uh, but um, 
uh, I think it's, it feels kind of like a generic veil. <laughs> so, but uh, aim snappy. Uh, it's got good bullet velocity. It does bounce around a lot. Uh, but yeah, obviously, you're probably not going to be using it in the mid range. But uh, this me controlling the recoil. All right. So it's basically just vertical and slightly to the left. Um, all right. Next up on the list is the Holger 556. Now, this one is one of those that you're going to love it. You're going to love it either way. I, I mean, it's 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 a very, very comfortable weapon. It's got good uh, movement speed. Now, it's not anything fast or anything crazy like that. But um, either way, it's it's got it's just a good all-around weapon. Um, it really reminds me of the TAC-56, but it's got a better fire rate, um, just the way it feels. Um, so, but I mean, that's it right there. I mean, it's crazy good. Uh, obviously, you gotta pull down the stick just a little bit. Um, but, either way, here's me controlling the recoil. And then, here's the recoil pattern without uh, touching the stick. Vertical right and then straight back vertical. So I, it's, it's not a hard weapon to control. Uh, the next one's the Rival 9. Okay, the Rival 9 is it's just freaking sweet. Now, the only thing is, you know, they did a little buff on the uh, SMGs, but it's not anything crazy. So it's still, they're still not as uh, uppity, I guess you would say, as the ARs. Um, so basically, uh, you better get the first shot off and the last shot off if you're going to be running SMGs right now. So uh, they they definitely got some work to do on the SMG class. Uh, but this this build right here is super snappy, great movement speed, um, as you can see. But uh, I mean the recoil is easy to control on it. It's just super super snappy. It's a lot of fun. Uh, now here's the uh, far off. It's, it's I'm not sure what the camo is uh, as far as the platinum challenge or anything, but if it's long shots on this gun, it's going to just like that right there. It's really hard to hit your shots from far off. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the iron sights on this weapon, so you can obviously swap out the stock or something like that, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, this right here is my absolute favorite build. I um, almost dropped a nuke on a lobby um, with this thing right here. It was... The, you don't really have to do anything. You build this gun exactly like I've got it built here. It, it's so easy to control. You're, you're going to pull down on your stick and it's going to drop straight to the ground. I mean, you you don't really have to do anything. This is the most user-friendly noob of feathers. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it is it is wild. But this build right here, y'all see the video Oh, y'all will see the video where I about dropped a nuke on the water. It was, it was wild. Um, but it's just straight vertical. I mean, you just barely touch your stick and it's, it's dead on. You can't miss. Uh, Striker 9M. Now, this is my favorite SMG to run by far. This thing is a laser beam, just like the MCW. Um, but you know, you've got the good movement speed. It's very, very comfortable. It's quick ADS. It's, it's just an all around great SMG. I hope the SMG category gets a good buff, uh, for December the 6th when Warzone and stuff comes out, because this is definitely an SMG that I want to be running, uh, 90% of the time, whether it's on a Sheikah Island, Vondel, or, uh, Urzikstan. So, uh, but check this out. This is, this is awesome. <laughs> Telling you, I'm telling you. Even the far off shot, I mean, it's just. Control. That's me control. I don't even know if it's. <laughs> it's it's wild. It's so wild. It's just same as MCW. It's just vertical, but it's not a whole lot, so you don't really have to pull down on your stick much. Now here's another one. Uh, I I've actually had a lot of fun with this gun, and uh, I didn't really even pay any attention to it until I was actually leveling it up, and I was like, this feels nice. Uh, so I built this one out right here. Um, it, it's basically built. It, it does not have super good ADS, and it 
is a battle rifle, so you are going to lose movement speed. Um, but for places like Terminal and stuff, especially if you're playing in lobbies where people are not just running around like crazy, basically it'll be a good go-to. It's got a great TTK. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's not it's not anything bad. It's it's easier to control than the Chrome and Squall was. So uh, if you're a fan of the Chrome and Squall, you love the base speed. Um, but as you see, I mean, it's just it's easy to use. Uh, this means control and recoil issue. It's just horizontal uh, recoil mainly. It's, it's basically just vertical to the right a little bit. Uh, but it's nothing, like I said, it's nothing crazy. You'll enjoy the, the loadout period um, if you like running the base B. Um, now, if you um, uh, if you want to, if you want to eliminate some more of that horizontal recoil, obviously you can drop a second tray of 40 on it like I showed there. But uh, this is the WSP. Um, it's, uh, it's not my absolute favorite, but I will say to be in the handgun category, this is a, a great option over um, the pistols if you're not huge on the pistols. Now, I will say the Core 45 is just gross. Um, you can wreck a lobby with just a Core 45 pistol. Um, so, But this is a good little build if you just want to have something that's automatic, uh, uh, high capacity. Uh, you know, and, uh, But it's not super hard to control or anything like that. It's just... I don't know something about it I don't care that much about, but somebody who, uh, may like it, that's, uh, this is a really good build on it. You'll get that good bullet velocity, and uh, it's a little snappy, you know, and you get great movement speed, obviously. So, um, but pretty much, guys, that's uh, everything that I got for you. See you next time.